okay, so it's early afternoon on Tuesday, March 27th. Um, I actually spent the entire night sending emails to management because my entire living space is constantly filling up with fumes and odors um, that are sickening and nauseating and that you practically choke on because they're so thick um, that are coming from the bathroom of Unit 78. And I keep going out into this hallway and checking to see where the fumes are coming from and they're not coming from the hallway. They are not anywhere in this area right here. There's no fumes or odors. The air is actually really clean. Um, and the psychopath who keeps accessing Unit 78, yeah, there's nothing here either. So that's Unit 79. That's Unit 78. There's absolutely no fumes or odors anywhere in this area. Um, this is the wall of Unit 78 right here. But as soon as I go into my apartment and step inside and I keep the door open, I've been keeping this door open for an hour and a half now for ventilation. Um, the minute I get in here, it's just filled with sickening odors and fumes and a, a, of marijuana, cigars, burning, rotting trash. I mean, it, it constantly cycles through different odors and fumes and smells. And I have my window open, the air conditioner is going. As I mentioned, I've been keeping this door open um, for the last hour and a half for ventilation and there are no fumes and odors in the hallway. Um, the fumes and odors are filling my entire bathroom right now. So I can't use my bathroom because every time I go in there, I'm breathing in the, the smoke of 15 people smoking pot and cigars. And I've tried keeping this door closed, but the fumes are also coming from this wall right here. And this wall is the bathroom of 78. So this is my kitchen sink area. This is my stove um, kitchen sink. And there's someone constantly sitting directly behind that wall. I actually went into my bathroom for the first time about an hour ago and choked on the fumes that, because the entire bathroom smells like 20 people have been smoking cigars, cigarettes, and marijuana in there for hours. And that's pretty much what's been happening because there's somebody sitting directly behind the wall of my bathroom and behind this wall, which is the same corner of the bathroom next door for hours. Um, it started right around 1130 when I got up and it's been going on. So <laughs> this area right here smells the strongest. The windows open, the air conditioner is cranking and I actually have to wear a mask because over the last hour and a half, these fumes and odors have been overpowering and sickening to the point where I can't breathe properly without putting on a mask. And with the mask on, I don't smell the odors as much, but I can still smell them. And I, I had to open this window again, about 10 inches. Um, it's not that warm outside. It's about 52 degrees, 53 degrees, but the window has to be open. And throughout this entire night, this is exactly what kept happening at the same time somebody behind that wall has also been using some type of remote capacity stun gun device that has been delivering some very painful and debilitating symptoms consistent with electrical shock throughout the night while I've been lying on this bed trying to rest. This happens only when I'm in this unit. It does not happen anywhere outside of this unit. And it usually happens when I'm either standing at this sink right here, trying to wash dishes or actively clean and organize. And I'm, you know, like, 12 inches from the wall of a bathroom of a known psychopath, um, or I'm lying on my bed. It also happens when I go into my bathroom and try to do stuff in my bathroom. So whoever sits behind this wall, constantly smoking, burning, and propagating unknown but sickening chemical substances that fill this space for hours and hours and require that I open the windows and open the door to the hallway, even though it's not safe. So there's a lot of pretty angry and violent residents on this floor that are frequently engaging in some pretty violent slamming and shouting in the hallways. So having to keep the door open for over an hour just to get fresh air is unsafe. It's also dysfunctional. I should be able to safely close my door and breathe fresh air and not have to breathe in nonstop fumes and odors. So this is an ongoing health and safety issue. Um, it disrupts what I need to do. I can't use my bathroom right now. The entire bathroom is filled with non-stop fumes and odors and in order to go into my bathroom again I have to wear this mask um, I can't breathe in my bathroom right now 
Okay, so there's non-stop fumes and odors coming from this wall right here. That wall is the bathroom of 78, and there's somebody sitting in there right now. And this entire shower stall, this is a shower stall, you can't see much. It's filling up with sickening, overpowering, really thick smoke of somebody burning. There's me, hi. It's burning or smoking and propagating something that I can't identify, but it's literally sticking in my throat and I can't breathe in here. So um, I can't use this bathroom right now. I have to go use the bathroom down the hall because someone directly behind that wall is smoking something. It's actually just gave me a headache. It's so thick and intense that it just gave me a headache. So I have to close this door now. Um, this is really dysfunctional. It's a breach of habitability. It's a health and safety issue. I'm actually gonna call maintenance and ask them to come up here and see why in the world there are nonstop sickening odors and, and smoke of something being burned pouring through that wall. And my entire bathroom stinks right now. And again, I'm wearing a mask because I can't breathe in there without a mask on right now. This is completely insane. It's dysfunctional. It's preventing me from being able to use my bathroom. I have to go use the bathroom down the hall right now.